is DNA? Well, elephants, dogs, worms, flowers, and of course, humans. We're all different, yet made from the same thing. We're made from eeny, weeny, tootsy, wincy, little things called cells. They're so small, you can't see them with glasses. No, nope. you can't even see them with magnifying glasses. You need a special thing called a microscope to see cells. Now, every bit of our bodies are made up of cells. We just can't see them without the right equipment. Inside each cell is something even smaller called a molecule. And there's one very special, very, 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 very long molecule called DNA. It's very easy to say. Repeat after me, D, oxy, ribo, nucleic acid. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Deoxyribo, hmm? Deoxyribonucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid. <laughs> it's in a chain of even smaller molecules and they are called nucleotides. 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 The difference between a worm, a flower and a dog is where the nucleotides are and how many of them there are. There are many, 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 many ways that four, how many? Four nucleotides can be combined to fit in to the long chain of molecules that is DNA. A nucleotide is made up of a backbone and a base. The backbone is always the same and there are four different nucleotides. We're calling the backbone white, so all of the nucleotides have a part of the backbone and we're giving the colours blue, green, red and yellow. Now there's something interesting about the nucleotides. You can't have a red with a yellow or a green with the yellow. You'll only ever find the blue with the yellow. And they fit together like this. Green will only ever fit with the red. Now they have different names in science. They have complicated names in science. We're just going to call them red, green, blue and yellow. They could all be joined together. Now this is only four pairs of nucleotides joined together to make one very, very small part of the DNA. If I join these on as well, we're making the DNA chain longer. And the DNA twists. And this again is called something very special. It's called a double helix. If we pretend that DNA is a whole library full of books, then we can call one of the books by a special name. We can call it a gene. It's the gene that gives the message to each little cell to tell it what to be. So the gene tells a cell to turn into a skin cell. The gene tells the cells in the eyes what colour to be. The gene tells what colour your hair should be. Human beings have 
up to 40,000 genes in their DNA. Worms have up to 20,000 genes. Genes can mutate over time. That means that DNA changes just a little bit. The gene might switch, so instead of red to green, it might switch around to be green to red. This is how living things have adapted to changes on Earth over millions of years. And how do we grow? DNA duplicates by splitting and joining new nucleotides in till eventually the whole DNA strand is repeated. DNA contains the code that enables us to grow and yet still be the same person or elephant. It is what makes each one of us unique, even though we're all built from the same substance. There are many ways to make DNA models. Now it's your turn to make your own. Have fun!